Hello there my friends, hope you all are having a fantastic day right now. In this video, we shall be looking at how we can solve the n queens problem in Python. So let's get started. So the statement of this problem is pretty simple. All we have got to do is to place n non-attacking queens on an n crossing board. So we know that in chess, a queen can move in 8 different directions. So let's say we have a queen over here and this queen can move towards the right, left, up, down, and this way, here, here, or here. And we have got to place four queens in this case because n equals four in such a way that each queen is in a safe position. And in order to solve this problem, we are going to use an algorithm called recursive backtracking. So in this algorithm, we are going to start by placing the queen in the first position and checking for the next valid position where we can place the queen. So if we move towards the right, we find that this is the immediate next position where the queen is safe. We're going to continue doing this until we find that we have four queens on the board. And if we do not have four queens when we reach this cell, we are going to backtrack and eliminate the last queen that we put and search for the next valid position and continue our program. So that's how we are going to attempt to solve this problem. So assuming that we have understood how this algorithm works, we can go and write the code in Python. So the first two lines look like this. We have a variable n which is an integer which is going to get the value of n from the user and we also have a list called board which is going to represent the chessboard, n cross n chessboard that we are going to have. So both of these are global variables because we are going to use them across different functions. So now we are going to write the getBoard function and this function is used to define the board that we are going to be working with. So all we are doing in this function is that we are creating n lists having n elements in them and each element is going to be assigned to 0 and if we are placing a queen then we are going to change it to 1 so we are going to create n number of empty lists and add n number of zeros into these lists and add these lists to the board. So now the board becomes an n cross n board. So that's about this function. Next we have the print board function which is going to just print the board after solving the n queens problem so that we can look at the solution. So this doesn't need much explanation. Let's quickly move ahead. Now comes the is safe function and this is the function which decides if a queen is safe at a particular row and column. So that's why we have row and column passed into this function. And this function returns true if the queen is safe, else it returns false. So the first two set of for loops determine if there is a queen at the corresponding row or in the corresponding column. And if there is a queen, then it means that the queen is not safe and we return false. So the next part of the isSafe function contains these four sets of while loops which determine if the queen occurs in any of the diagonal directions. So the first one checks if a queen appears in the northwestern direction and returns false appropriately. The second one in the northeastern direction. The third one in the southwestern direction and the fourth one in the southeastern direction. And if that particular cell passes all of these checks, then it's considered safe and the function returns true. Next, we have the main function, which is the put function. And this is the function that really solves the problem. And for some reason, I have passed n into this function, though it is a global variable, but it doesn't matter. So we have a variable called count, which is used to keep a count of the number of queens that are currently present on the board. So if count is equal to n, which means on a 4 cross 4 board, if we have 4 queens, then it means that the problem is solved. So we return true. And then we are iterating through each and every cell in the board and checking if that cell is safe by using the isSafe function. And if that cell is safe, we are assigning the value of that cell to 1, which means we are placing a queen over there and incrementing count by 1. And then we are not satisfied with it and we are again calling the put function recursively which means these set of statements are going to get executed again. And this time the count is the new count and n is obviously n. By doing so we are able to solve the problem completely. And if so then we are going to return true and the problem is solved. And if we find that the position in which we place the queen 
did not give us the correct solution, then we set the value of the cell back to zero. And we also decrement count because there is one less screen on the board right now. And we return false. So when the function returns false, then it means that it goes a step back and does the remaining statements after this particular statement. And that is how this function attempts to solve the problem. And I recommend that you trace the program by yourself so that you can understand this algorithm better because this is a really interesting algorithm which can be used to solve a lot of difficult problems. So that completes all our functions and now we have to call the required functions. So we first call the getBoard function, then we call the put function to solve the problem and then we print the board. So that's it. Let's go ahead and check it out. So let's give the value of n as 5. So there you go, the queen has been placed in these positions and as you can see, no queen can attack any other queen. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this new style of videos that I'm making. So yep, bye for now guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.